Hello, welcome to a new episode of the uh, 50k Rust series. So uh, this episode will be about dealing with uh, images. So uh, FLTK has uh, these types of images, uh, shared image, BFP image, JPEG, GIF, PNG. These are the most commonly used images. Some of them exist for legacy reasons. And uh, some of the image uh, formats aren't supported by FLTK, but we can use something like the image crate to load images into FLTK. We'll see uh, this later. You'll also check the Rust embed uh, crate, which allows us to embed Im images uh, during compilation, so we don't have to deploy extra resources uh, or extra files uh, when we deploy our application, since these are compiled into the application itself. So the image API basically goes something like uh, we load the image into an image struct. We can use a shared image if you don't know the type of image or uh, one of the dedicated uh, image structs. So we are we going to use a PNG image since we have a uh, PNG image uh, file, PNG image. And we can basically load a file uh, which exists on our file system or we can load from data uh, which loads a, uh, a byte uh, array. So uh, we'll, we'll use the load function and then we'll check also the, uh, uh, the from data. So load and uh, here we're going to give it a path of the uh, file. So it's calligraphy png and map and then we use the frame set image, sum, image, and we have probably one. So this is our image. We can uh, rescale our image also. So uh, we can go image scale. So here, uh, new scale. This takes four arguments. The size, the new size. So we will take the size of our frame, 600 and whether it can be, uh, if it preserved the scale factor, and uh, if uh, it can be expanded, so uh, true, true. So this is after scaling, we can actually uh, expand it uh, laterally, so uh, if we say this is false, Basically, the set image is a uh, uh, a method of the widget uh, trait, as you can see here in the description, widget text. So basically, any widget uh, can have an image, even buttons. So uh, let's say we have a file that isn't supported by uh, FLTK. Let's uh, say this is something. If we check the uh, image crate. So let's say it's a TIFF file or an icon file or something that's not uh, supported by FLTK. And let's also say that this file is one of the unsupported files. You can use the image crate. So uh, basically, uh, there's a, also an example in the repo uh, of using the image crate. The uh, file itself is commented out since uh, it's one of the examples and uh, basically I didn't want to uh, grab the uh, uh, the, depend the dependency, but uh, you can see it here, for example. So uh, if we take this, and then to get an image, we can go use this. Oops. And here we're going to load the file. <coughs> Calligraphy, and this basically gives us a an RGB image. So to be able to use it from uh, FLTK, we'll have to uh, basically get the RGB image of the file. So uh, use the RGB struct basically. So uh, basically here you can get the uh, X and Y of the image itself. 
and then use it for the RGB image and we'll pass a depth of 3 since this, this is an RGB not an RGBA image so this is the RGB image and we can use it here let's use the same scaling uh, at first and see RGB Okay, so we're missing some stuff. Let's just get all of this. So I think I'll need to update the um, uh, the example. Can I find function open? Uh, use image open. Okay, so just open. And then open. And use image uh, generic. Hmm. Okay, so apparently this no longer exists. Um, Oh, okay, so uh, it's basically just a uh, portion of the namespace, so uh, we, we need the app. And uh, window. Window. Oops. Uh, frame. Okay, check again. <clears throat> and then Also, so okay, so we only need to pass the uh, RGB image. Uh, uh. So this is from our FLTK image. Okay. E38. Getting somewhere now. Um, yes, I need to unwrap this. So I need to update the example code in the uh, repo. Okay, so this finally works. And if we wanted to rescale this, so this will be RGB scale. Okay, so we've loaded an image using the uh, image uh, crate itself, not through FLTK, and then we've basically uh, passed it into an FLTK RGB image, uh, basically by calling the uh, two bytes uh, method from the image crate, which basically gives us a VEC QA, and uh, that's basically it. So basically, if we didn't want to uh, uh, deploy this file with the application, we can actually load it uh, at compile time. So uh, we use the uh, rust embed. So uh, this is the basic uh, X uh, 
the basic uh, syntax. So you have uh, the uh, folder here, and uh, basically asset get, and then uh, we can load the image into it. So uh, this will be. Uh, oops. Set get and the uh, image. So this loads it as a uh, uh, what's it uh, byte array of PNG, and here we don't need this, and we can directly use the PNG. Image. So I call TK image PNG image, and we don't need the bytes here. And this is uh, is it needed? And uh, this doesn't have near, so it's either load for a file on the uh, on the file system or from data. So this basically compiles the uh, image file into our application. So we can basically just deploy the application without uh, also sending out the image file. So this is good for, for, for example, if you have icons or something that you, you don't want to share. You can <coughs> use the Rust Embed Crate. Um, another thing, uh, we have the shared image. If, for example, we, uh, we don't know the type of image and we're sure that it's uh, at least sure that it's one of the image uh, formats that's uh, uh, supported by uh, FLTK. And uh, sorry, uh, there is no from data there. So it, it will be load and uh, we'll have the regraphy.png. Uh, oh, yeah. <coughs> And a reference. So this would work also for files that, for example, are loaded dynamically and you don't know the uh, format of the file, you can load it using the shared image uh, struct. Uh, that was basically it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll be making more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.